What are they, Captain? Back! You must get me treasure! Leave them to me. If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Isn't that right, Smee? Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given them a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Venetus, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! <laughs> This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered.
Want some?
Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? Ahem, we've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. Fish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? That's me! The light is not yours to take. You won't stop me! What is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Tara. Right then, Tara. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger! Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way.
Unversed. Stay back. All's well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> Hold it. What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny! And you'll walk the plank for it! <gasps> that sound! <laughs> Hooray! We sure show hook this time! Every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, then. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! <laughs> oh, so much for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? No, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but, uh, Pan was counting on us! I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea! Thanks! <gasps> <sighs> Kinda makes me wonder... what I'd put in there.
take that! 